Hi, it's Cliff Clover with Watson Realty, and I'm back again with John Weaver from Cornerstone Building Analysis. Thanks for being here, John. We're doing Thank a video you. series here with our professional home inspector. Again, John has been doing home inspections since 1998, uh, and ever since I've been doing this business for over a decade, John has been an integral part of a trusted advisor that I have uh, happily referred multiple clients, yeah. millions and millions of dollars worth of business yeah. you've inspected, yeah. from uh, high-end investment property yeah. to uh, uh, secondary homes to, um, gosh, you name it, condos, townhomes, regular, uh, I, every type of thing John has pretty much done for me. Um, but it's, it's a fine line, John, between telling somebody who you know that is a, is a licensed and insured inspector, uh, someone who has things called E&O insurance, which is error, uh, errors and omission, right. and, um, and then also with, um, uh, you know, there's a fine line between what a inspector provides to a client and also to a realtor, which could potentially kill a deal. Yeah. Or it could, uh, you know, the inspector has a very difficult job. So tell me a little bit about um, uh, this this fine line that you walk with E and O insurance. Why do you carry E and O insurance compared to other people who don't? Why is that important? Well, it's important. This business is a business of a reputation. Uh, we've been in business since 1998, uh, and, and, and word of mouth marketing is really what it's all about. P are people happy with your service? Uh, in order to do that, you need to make sure that everybody's on the same page as far as their expectations. Now, a, a home inspection is not a guarantee or a warranty. I mean, we certainly do our best to discover you know, all of the defects in a piece of property and make sure we meet your expectations. But in the event we honestly miss something, then there's an insurance policy for that. Okay. Um, you know, we want to make sure that you're taken care of. Now, is, is, you know, to think that somebody's going to insure a piece of property for a few hundred dollars for a home inspection for a piece of property that's worth a couple hundred thousand dollars, I mean, honestly, that doesn't make a lot of sense. But did we do our job in the inspection? Now, the, the home inspection is a picture in time. What's present at that piece of property? Can we determine what's happened before we got there and maybe even predict a little bit based on the condition of the systems and components as to how well it's going to stand up in the future? That's what you're paying us for. Uh, there is some room for some error in there. Now, is it blatant that's going to cost somebody a lot of money? You know, in our, in our situation, we certainly hope not that we're not going to make that mistake. But in the event we did, there's an insurance policy in place you know, to make sure everybody's satisfied, everybody's happy. And it goes back to reputation, referrals, and integrity. Well, right. I can tell you from first-hand experience, I've had other inspectors, John, that have inspected property for buyers. Mm -hmm. The guy didn't carry errors in omission. Yeah. A um, few days after the closing, something was discovered. Mm -hmm. They had a home warranty on the property, but the home warranty looked at the home inspector, and mm -hmm. he didn't find this for whatever reason. The new owner was extremely upset mm -hmm. because it wasn't noted mm -hmm. and they wanted blood because mm -hmm. this was missed on the inspection. Right. So peace of mind for you guys out there is making sure that the home inspector has errors and emissions insurance to make sure that if something was missed or are uh, not correctly uh, annotated that right. it's that you could basically go back and, and make it right basically right. for right. the client. Okay, well that's fantastic. So let's talk about this fine line between uh, realtors and inspectors and the delicate walk that you make from providing an inspection that somebody could look at and say, wow, this, this, this house is a train wreck. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you from first-hand experience that most of the home inspector's reports are designed to look like train wrecks. Right. And to someone who's never seen a very detailed home inspection, this can be extremely alarming because you're, you're mentioning cosmetic stuff, nicks and scratches and tears, and, and these are not necessarily things that are covered in the actual contract right. that you need to have written. Obviously, in an as-is contract, some people might think it just goes into atmospheric levels. So tell me a little bit about how you deal with those challenges. Well, we, we try not to comment too much on cosmetics I'd like buying a used car I mean it is what it is so if you were to you know mention every little nick and scratch you you should have seen that um, when you're when you're looking at the property now let's say for instance you haven't been in this house you're buying it sight unseen or whatnot well then you need to let me know that so we can take extra pictures um, a picture of a blank wall doesn't necessarily show too well but I mean if there's little damages and things like that then we can note upon that for you so communication expectations that's really important communication between us so we know what it is you expect in the service what you're looking for to what extent you've been able to research this piece of property so we can assist you in being your eyes and ears right. and, 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 and addressing those concerns now cosmetic issues uh, do not affect the function of the component 
It's just how it looks. And those things are typically not addressed, in the, and correct me if I'm wrong, in the standard fire bar contract. Even in bank owned properties where they're as is. So you could have structural problems or, you know, and I say structural, not meaning that the house is falling down, but let's say you've got holes in drywall, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's say you've got, the AC doesn't work. You've got component failures. Perhaps the bank is not gonna address those things. So th we're informing you so you can determine how does that affect your bottom line? the purchase price, what it's gonna to cost to put this property in the condition that you want it to be in, assuming that the seller, if it's an REO property, a bank or whatnot, is not gonna make that repair, it'll, it'll affect you, and that's what you're hiring us for. Educate me on this piece of property. You've done your comp, your, you know, your, 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 your search for the floor plan, the price range, the comps, and that kind of stuff with Cliff. Now let's talk about the specific piece of property, its systems and components, and, and what's there and what's it gonna to take to make it the way you want it to be, and how does that affect your bottom line, either in the quality of living, if you're gonna occupy this piece of property, liability if you're gonna put tenants in there, or the cost of doing business if you're gonna plan on flipping this property in the next few years when the market right. starts to come back a little bit. And, and a lot of this stuff is really important because what's happening in my side of the business is that you know most of these properties that are investment homes, especially close to the Disney World area, yep. are as is, or they're bank owned, or they're short sales, nobody's occupied them, their house has a lot of problems and in order to just get pending on these properties John people have to write a contract sight unseen subject mm -hmm. to their inspection mm -hmm. and they've only got a five-day window yep. right so it's it's hurry up figure get you in there figure out how mad the damage is get a contractor to bid for the damage and then they get on a plane to also verify if possible a lot is happening in a very short amount of a time right. in order for somebody to feel good about what it is that they're doing and so guys I just want you to know that Having a professional home inspector that is licensed and accredited, highly accredited like John, is peace of mind um, that you can take to the bank because it's really going to help you in the stress factor, but also knowing that the, his report is going to be highly detailed and it's going to be pretty scary for someone that's not used to seeing that type of, of information. But be aware that that's why we have other contractors and other professionals that are already ready lined up that have been trusted over the years to provide you with honest feedback on what it would take to remediate some of those problems. And, and also because John has errors and emissions insurance that if something should be, God forbid it's missed, that uh, you are covered and protected with those things. So um, I just wanna make sure that, that you guys understand that being part of cliffclover.com, you made a really, really good decision. And anything that you see online, if you'd like more information about the services that John provides, please feel free to look at the link below. You can go directly to his website. His uh, information's there. You can call him direct should you need any services whatsoever. And should you want to find any properties for me to help you with, obviously, you can click on cliffclover.com or call me direct at 321-229-5890. And again, we're going to be talking uh, one more segment with John in regards to some of the loose ends that home inspectors are dealing with and how it could affect you and your purchase and thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.